All right, gang, we are officially in Haunted Towers. What the? All right, this is like gonna be possessed by a ghost later. Oh. Oh, it's this, uh, Storm Wizard dudes. Yep, I'm right, he was possessed by a ghost. Well, you do for me. I guess you got super. Oh, oh. Super flame again. Alright, you can be defeated by super flame. I didn't have to go through a cutscene every time I get this. Like, you know in later games, you just have to pass through little archways to get your power-ups? I wish I kind of kept that for this, this remake. Ah, yeah, I didn't forget about that one. Clever. At least we're, we're get, starting to get some unique enemies in these levels. Like, even though the game is still pretty fast-paced, uh, we're getting some unique enemies. Can you blow up? No, you can't blow up. You need some help now. Costco! Ooh, Costco! Hey, Spyro. All dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. Yeah, we know. I guess we have to get make our way here with the super flame. I'll just do that. Yeah, it's, it's just yeah, it's not really far at all. We can only do this. Mildly tedious, but at least it's a simple solution. Oh, wait, 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 I saw that. Oh, I knew that door was breakable. So clever. You can break, break all the boxes. Um, it can pretty much destroy any box. That's really cool. And obviously that's how we open that steel box. Probably can't break open locked boxes. That would be cool, though. And then you just have a key floating in subspace. Oh, you dick! Get up, Spyro! It's, a, it's just annoying that we have to keep running back and forth for the Super Flame. more super flames. If there are more super flames, I just wasted those trips. I'll just look around. At least there's a... Yeah, okay, there are multiple super flames. Oh well. I bet you have a secret back there. Wait, there's a skill point here. I just remembered. Let's, let's see what the skill point is. Uh, burn blue wizard hat? 
I guess it means those wizard enemies. I guess I have to burn one of their hats without actually killing him first. We better do that next time we see one. There's one. Yeah, can I burn your hat? Do I have to kill you first? Okay. That didn't work at all. Like, my fire didn't inter interact with that hat at all. I jump there. Oh, that's a secret. We found the blue wizard hat. Ha! <laughs> Whee! That is not the animation that I expected, but okay, that was extremely convenient. And that roof is non-existent. I just I was thinking, well, my, my fire didn't interact with the wizard's hat. Maybe it's not talking about the enemies then. Like, oh, I found the actual wizard's hat we're supposed to burn. That was well-timed. Huh. I really like this whole skill point system. I really like the idea that there's fun, like, fun quirky side things you can just do in the level and get an achievement. Like in Luigi's Mansion 3, they, those had skill points. Okay, I have no idea where I'm running. Let's see what else I have to break through here. Yeah, obviously this is gonna keep going. Ow. Oh, you're you're actually a dick. And you're a super fun. Good, I don't want to keep these in the friggin' supercharge. What is it? Made me mad. Checkpoint will be convenient. I'll kill you first, so I can just save your death. Massacred this room, I tell you what. Is there a health, please? I would like some health by now. Hi, Lutano. Hold your horns. Here comes. Oh, it's a magic lamp. Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. Can I have your genie lamp? I don't get your genie lamp. Oh, I see health. Oh, I need a super flame there. Do I need to bring the supercharge there and make that jump? But no, you just have to go through here. You can still have to do that for a whole different jump, though. Where's the exit? Still need the friggin' super flame, of course.
That's one thing I noticed with these power-ups is the furthest point you can take a power-up, you won't have to use the power-up at that point. Like, they try to hide objectives as far as possible from where you get the power-up. Case in point, I gotta bring it again. These three guys. And that's what they did in Mario Odyssey, which was really annoying. Like, like in the Moon Kingdom, you had to get the frog that's behind the church. You have to bring the frog all the way across the moon um, and make a really high jump. I mean, the high jump itself is really clever. It's just the fact that you have to... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. There's one right here. Wow, I'm so stupid. At least they're generous in that regard. It's so, like the high... The, the super high moon jump is clever, but the fact that you have to bring it all the way across the moon is just lazy on Nintendo's part. Like, they just... It's just, they're, it's just a dumb way to try to make it seem clever, even though it's just tedious. And then there's Toast Serena, where you had to get one of the Goombas at the ruins, and you had to bring the Goomba all the way across the desert to meet Goombet at the very edge of the desert. It's like, that was the thing with some of the puzzles of Mario Odyssey. Like, if you could bring... Is there anything else in here? Like, if you could bring um, a creature across the world, you would have to for a collectible. It's... Semi, in some cases it could be clever, in some cases it feels, feels a little tedious. It's like, yeah, you can bring this creature all the way across the level, so what? Speaking of which... Um, what are we missing? We're well, missing a drag! Wow, okay! There is a whole area in this level we are missing. I wonder where. Is there anything we can do to supercharge? Out. I don't even remember which one to go through. I feel like... I feel like it's set up where you have to bring the supercharge all the way here and make it jump. But why? What, what are we even jumping to? So we can... Unless... See, okay, so there's obviously an area up there. How do we get up there? So that's the very room. That's what the dude was. What was this room? Oh, you're okay. You're a dragon. You were a dragon. Now you're a fairy. It's kind of funny because um, in Fairly Odd Parents, dragons are impervious to magic and by extension fairies. But then Pokemon. Pokemon introduce fairy types, and dra dragon types are weak against fairy types. So that's like the exact opposite of Fairly Odd Parents. I do appreciate the addition of fairy Pokemon. That's a that's a nice little type to add. I have no idea where to where to go. So if I brought the super charts all the way over here, where where that take me? That really wouldn't get me anywhere. But I just feel like do I just jump up there? The edge is actually there. It doesn't seem like there's really anywhere you can jump. It's just that slam to the wall. Wait, wait, what was that over here? The too low, too low, too low! When it starts to hurt, you better be no. Not in this case. Oh, that reminds me! It's Splatoon 2! They're going to have another Splatfest! Which means I gotta get another Nintendo and get back into the Club Nintendo and join the Splatfest. 
But like, what the hell? The, the final Splatfest of Splatoon 2 was not the final Splatfest. And even the Splatfest coming up isn't going to be the last one. There's going to be at least... I think they said two more or something? I could probably jump from here. Can I jump from here? Let's find out. No, you cannot jump from there. This is getting annoying. Let's actually get you. Is that actually a new area? That is... That is a new area. How? And over here is, uh, gonna be the X. Oh. Oh, this is where we bring the supercharge. We had to run up here and then... Oh, that is clever. That is really clever. I knew that supercharge was gonna have a crazy jump in this level. It wasn't just to break down these doors. Where do I, where do I turn? Where do I turn? Uh... I would turn in the second door. See, I just love how they make a lot... I like for all these different supercharges, they make a lot of creative use out of the supercharge. Yep. YOLO! That was really clever. I sure hope there's a super flame in here. You're a dragon. Save the dragon. You are pretty well hidden, Copano. Not as well hidden as the treetops one. You become a master of the supercharge. Yes, I have. Great work. Yes, yes, I have. These are some clever supercharge puzzles. That's like I was thinking, like. Why would they have a supercharge just to break this door? Couldn't we, uh, just, um, get another super flame? Haha, <laughs> but there was more use of that supercharge. And I can sense there's gonna be a supercharge in here because of those dudes. And that's how we get back down there. Lee had best run for it. Oh, I didn't make it in time. So then... Like, there's a fairy down there. But, like, I can't get back up here. And, obvious, and obviously, you have to get up here by using the supercharge, because that guy just complimented your supercharge use. So where is the fairy? I think I just have to be quick. Yep, you just have to be quick. And there's gonna be a fairy in here. There is a uh, treasures in here, I tell you what. Ow. Wow, you're a dick. Wait. It's infinite! Oh, you are an infinite super flame! That is awesome! I love it! We literally just missed two gems among all these gems. No, we missed you! Okay, I don't know how you didn't die, but... Oh well. Alright! Alright, this was a really fun level. 
We got the skill point in the most epic fashion. Um, we solved the fun little supercharged puzzle. And now we just have an infinite super flame. I mean, yeah, it's gonna go away as soon as I leave the level, but still, I, I like how they just gave us an infinite super flame as our in level reward. They're not gonna do me any use because I already found everything, but that was still really cool to find. I know in Spyro 2, if you get all the gems, your reward is like an infinite super flame. I assume it would carry across all the levels. Otherwise, it's just really pointless to have that as a reward. So, yeah. I really like that level. I'm I really like this Sky World so far. It helps that I'm already a fan of Sky levels, but just that all these other levels have been really fun, it helps. It really helps my enjoyability for this place. Hidden room! Hidden room! There's a hidden room somewhere! I'm gonna find it. It's not there. Okay. Oh, well now I need some help. And I'm dead! Yippee! That was actually convenient because now I'm at the beginning. Alright, so pretty much explored everywhere on this side. Now we can head to this this side. Yeah, there's plenty of room for a hidden room in this little fortress. Head over here first, get some collectibles. Shots. All right, let's go. Uh, go into shots. And you're the balloon guy. Or we can go over here. Eh, well, we're right next to shots. So let's go into shots. So I know there's a skill point here. It's gonna be another perfect run. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and get it on the first try. I'm gonna see how shots fights before he attempt the perfect run. different. I like it. Ah, we gotta make use of this gimmick throughout the level. isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is a perfect run. There's always a key in these boss levels. Oh, 
Okay, that was really awesome. platform on you? No, I can't. Yep, that was anything but perfect. That just racked me anyway. Dang it. These leaves. Can you activate both of them? Is that the idea? Characters! It's Oliver backwards! Advice. Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Okay, watch uh, out. Huh? Alright, watch out for flying boxes. Wow, that was extremely easy. He got that perfect run like a champ. It's like the other bosses that required perfect runs had more had more complex move sets. But like that guy was just so easy to read. It's just dodges boxes. He didn't pull any unique tricks at all. All right, there's a, there's a some stuff we're missing here. I think I know. Yeah, I remember that really tall platform earlier. Let's uh, head backward. All right, we can basically beat this level in one visit. I love it. Yeah, now nah, yeah, these guys never really use them.
Alright, that was pretty clever. Oh, oh yeah, there's the key. is how we actually get to that dragon. You guys don't do anything with that, do you? And I don't really expect it at all. I bet it's gonna be this fool that's just over here that does nothing. Like, there's you. Like, you never really did anything. Yep, I'm right. I'm 100% right. Like, instead of making the platform go up, you make it go down when we hit you. Clever. There's still more to do over here. Let's, uh, wow. Wow, there's actually a lot of places over here. Let's actually get this checkpoint. Unique, uh, very unique. Thank you for releasing me. Oh, well, you're a harpist. Take care. Oh, you're, you're a harpist. I, I really love all these dragon designs. You're really creative. What do you do? Can't tell what you did. Oh, this is clever. This is clever. Shit! Alright, that could have ended badly, but that's clever. Oh, there's actually ground down there. Not too deadly. Extra life. I'm gonna send you from here, can I? Yeah, baby! Oh, you make the platform come out. That was easy. Uh, alright. Simple jump. Simple jump. Alright, this was uh, an extremely easy boss level. Until that happened. You know what? You know what? Just do that. Just kill me. Doesn't matter because we got everything. And it was no trouble at all. The skill point was extremely easy to get for a perfect run. Like that. That boss was just really easy to read. So... Gotta make the loop around once more. And we'll finally be done with this level. <sighs> this jump though. This jump though. Why is this jump so tricky?
Seriously? You respawned. How the hell did you respawn? We saved your death. Doesn't matter because you're even easier when I speed run you. That's our second perfect run of the boss. <sighs> Too easy. Okay, that is one number off from being a number I don't want, and I'm glad it's like that. I guess let's cut through here. But if anything, the hidden room is going to be around one of these corners that we have to do like a, a glide of faith. Oh, that's going to be annoying. That teeth. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Yeah, so far I've been doing a good job of that. Because uh, this world has actually been pretty pretty neat so far. Uh, Lofty Castle, here we go. Ninety-six, ninety-eight. Giggity, giggity, goo. Again. Okay, we got we gotta break these. Oh, bad timing, bad timing. There we go. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, 
Destroy hidden stump. Okay, inter interesting. Take me out of here. Now we get a second one. New dot dot. Uh. Enemies are always on your side, Spyro. Okay, the fairy doll is kind of creepy, but uh, all right. Makes you happy. Oh, combo time! Oh, well, that was fun. What? Okay, you have to take me up there. We're hitting stump over here. Uh, this was uh, the previous area, wasn't it? Are you a shortcut? Oh, you're a shortcut. I love it. I love shortcuts. Well, you only take me over here, but still fine. Still kind of a shortcut. Not a hidden stump, you're a rock. Floating enemies weren't deadly in any way. Alright, th alright, this is pretty fun. I like this. Oh, you're tricky. ground below these guys, so they should live through that. I don't really get why they're falling. Here's a key. Liseni. Liseni. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Oh, nice Thanks. chest. Supercharge will get you to oh. new places here in Lofty Castle, too. See where it takes. Okay, so there is a supercharge here. Good to know. Yep, here we are. I had no idea where I was going with that. Well, I screwed up. Well, uh, is this a new area? Well, wait, this, uh, you could have gone here earlier, but oh well. Checkpoint before I do this. Part of routine. Thank you for releasing me. Oh, I didn't even see these. 
Oh, is that how it's supposed to get there? <laughs> well, we can easily jump that, so I don't see the point now. And that's how they get there. but you're not a hidden stump, are you? And you're a shortcut. Uh, I think you're already there. Or could you have gotten there from that way? I don't know. Anything in here? I did not mean to glide. Oh my god, I'm so, so ashamed. I did not mean to glide. Where am I? Okay, it's back here. Let's handle that more gracefully, shall we? Lisa saves the other. Uh, oh, well, you just clipped into existence. Lisa uh, saves the fairies you already saved. Figure out what to do with the supercharge. Probably get up there somehow. Where is the supercharge? This way. This is probably gonna be the supercharge route. I don't even know. Is that taking me? Do I have to jump off here? All 
Alright, I can already feel this is going to be convoluted. So, I can jump off... Jump off there, do I go right? Maybe I have to jump there. going with that. So obviously the area we've already been to. This is my natural instinct to go to obscure places and supercharge. Oh! Oh, we have to jump up there. I see. Okay, that's where we're jumping. Is it? Or is that the area you've already been to? I can't tell anymore. Whoa. That that might be a new area. No, I didn't want to get in this one, idiot. Ugh. Go, but it won't go and shoot it. One! Oh wow, are you serious? Oh wow, that is uh that is the worst possible outcome. And we still haven't found the hidden stump yet. Let me just check it. So there is a hidden stump somewhere. I cannot believe we're missing one measly gem. I see something shining over here, is this it? Thank you! Thank you for one measly gem! Jeez Louise, what the hell was that? Well, I will look for this hidden stump as soon as I use the bathroom. 